नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एम सी क्यू नंबर थर्टीन दैट इज द क्वेश्चन फिफ्टी एट फ्रॉम द एक्चुअल पेपर विच इज बेस्ड ऑन द थर्मल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर अ क्यूब अ सिलेंडर ऑफ हाइट इक्वल टू इट्स डायमीटर एंड स्पेयर ऑल सॉलिड are made of a metal and are of identical mass if all the three shapes have initial temperature 50 degrees celsius are put in a large reservoir of water at 10 degrees celsius which of the above three or which of the above three shapes cools the fastest okay so we have to uh, recognize which of the three solids will be cooling the fastest okay or whose temperature will be dropping the quickest cylinder sphere cube all three at the same rate now here we know the following okay uh, they are made of uh, same metal okay they are made of same metal that means the material density is same yes and uh, they have also said that they are of identical mass identical mass that means m is same now what is density density is mass upon volume so if density is same and mass is same therefore volume is same okay so all of the, all of them the cube cylinder and sphere all three of them are of the same volume okay that's our first conclusion that we have drawn next now on what criterion are we going to decide which of the three shapes will be cooling the fastest we have to now understand that the one with a larger surface area is going to cool the fastest okay the one with larger surface area or largest surface area let me put it in that way largest surface area cools the fastest why is that well primarily the mode of heat uh, transfer in this case will be convection because it is uh, all the three solids have been inserted in water okay and we know uh, in newton's law of cooling we know that the rate at which the temperature drops is not only proportional to the excess temperature but it is also proportional to the area correct so largest surface area will be the one that will be cooling the fastest okay so how what are the shapes we have a cube a cylinder and a sphere okay we have a cube so we'll start with cube first uh volume is v suppose its side is equal to l okay what will be the surface area surface area will be uh, 6 l squared and what will be the volume volume will be l cube okay volume will be l cube now let us uh, try to find out the ratio s by v in this case okay what is the ratio s by v s by v ratio will be 6 by l okay 6 by l or 6 divided by cube root of v because v is equal to l cube that's for cube number 2 let us now go to sphere let us assume that its radius is r what will be the surface area of the sphere 4 pi r squared what will be the volume of the sphere 4 by 3 pi r cubed okay let us take the ratio s by v s by v ratio if we take we will get 4 pi r squared upon 4 pi r cube by 3 so let me write it here into 3 so it will be 3 by r okay it will be 3 pi r now what is r can we find r yes we can find r from the volume r cube is 3v by 4 pi r cube is 3v by 4 pi so r will be cube root of this okay so it will be cube root of 3 by 4 pi okay into cube root of v so in this case we can now extend this okay we can now extend this 3 by r that is the ratio s by v to uh 3 by r so let us write 1 upon cube root of v separately 3 and this is r in the denominator so it will be cube root of 
4 pi by 3 that is the SYB ratio for sphere okay now if we have we are looking for the largest surface area we are actually looking for the largest uh, s to v ratio because uh, v is the same for all three as we argued in the first part of our solution now part three uh, as in this th third sphere that is cylinder sorry not sphere third solid is cylinder okay, third solid is cylinder now there is one more important thing that you need to consider the height is equal to its diameter not the radius okay so suppose the radius is r what will be the height h height h will be twice r because height is equal to diameter height is equal to diameter so two okay what about the surface area what about the surface area okay a cylinder a right circular cylinder has three surfaces okay uh, the curved surface and the two flat surfaces so if you add the uh, areas of the flat surfaces you will get 2 pi r squared now uh, let us uh, we need to add the curved surface area which is 2 pi r h 2 pi r h h is 2 r okay 2 pi r h h is 2 r so it will be 2 pi r squared plus 22 4 pi r squared okay so that is 6 pi r squared what is the volume of the cylinder pi r squared h now what is h 2 r okay h is 2 r so volume is 2 pi r cube so what will be the ratio s by v s by v ratio will be 6 pi r squared divided by 2 pi r cube okay 6 pi r squared is s right 6 pi r squared is s upon v 2 pi r cube okay so it will be pi pi goes this will be 3 so it will be 3 by r it will be 3 by r and in this case what will be r okay look what is r now v is 2 pi r cube okay so r cube has to be v by 2 pi r cube has to be v by 2 pi so r will be cube root of v divided by cube root of 2 pi and therefore s by v for cylinder which is 3 by r so this will be 1 upon cube root of v into 3 in the numerator okay now cube root of 2 pi is already in the denominator so that will again go in the numerator so cube root of 2 pi okay so in the s by v uh, ratio ratios rather we have got cube we have got sphere we could have ruled out sphere uh, already but well because it has the least uh, surface area to volume ratio but well cube surface and cylinder okay now all of them have cube root of v in them into some constant for a cylinder that constant is 3 into cube root of 2 pi for sphere what is that constant 3 into cube root of 4 pi by 3 okay cube root of 4 pi by 3 right here it gets cleared now because 2 2 is greater than 4 by 3 so s by v ratio of cylinder is greater than that of sphere so the race is now in between uh, cylinder and cube uh, now what about cube for cube it is 6 right for cube it is 6 well uh, these should have been in the denominator sorry yeah 6 so uh, let's now quickly decide whether this is greater than 6 or less than 6 okay uh, okay on calculator this is 6 this is 3 into cube root of 2 pi so if we get cube root of 2 pi to be less than 2 it is confirmed that we are dealing with cube okay or our answer is cube so let's calculate it uh, cube root of 2 pi well think it is less than 2 yes because 2 pi is less than 8 
it has to be less than 2 that's 1.84 okay cube root of 2 pi is 1.84 so 6 is the largest okay therefore cube cools fastest cube cools the fastest which option is there option c okay cube cools the fastest correct could be time consuming you may find this problem time consuming but we could have skipped the sphere part okay we could have skipped the sphere part so it had to be either a cylinder or the cube but anyways we have solved it completely and yes that's our final answer cube will cool the fastest